How's it going people? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Fletzy. Before I get started, if you get value from this video, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. It helps push the video out there to other people also looking for help. Today's video has two parts. In part one, I'm going to talk to you about what to expect once you get to Fletzy. In part two, I'm gonna to talk to you about the experience I had at F Fletzy. And just for fun, I'll give you tips on places to go eat and also happy hour options. Let's see, for TSA started in 2013 as a pilot program. Before 2013, all the airports had their own training program, but they were teaching people to un national SLP. With the implementation of Fletzy, that created a standardized training program. However, on-the-job training is still done in the airport. Fletzy for TSA is a two-week training program. Basically, you go in, you get out, and it's over. It's very quick, and you don't stick around for very long. If you're trying to figure out how much clothes do I bring, all your clothes should fit in a bag this big okay so it's a carry-on size bag only bring enough clothes for two weeks when you get hired your hr will tell you the same thing only bring a small bag of clothes and yes laundry is available let's see is in glenn county georgia if you haven't been there it's a coastal town. It gets hot and it gets humid. Dress for the weather. When you arrive your first day to class, th there will be introductions between you and all of your instructors, and you'll be taught all the rules and regulations of Fletzy and the TSA training program. And at the end of the day, your Fletzy uniforms will be issued. The uniforms that you are issued will be a light blue polo, dark blue pants, and a jacket. You get five polos, three pants, and one jacket. If you choose to go to the gym at Fletzy, you will also be issued a gym uniform, which once again is a light blue t-shirt and dark blue gym sh shorts. If you're thinking I'm going to the gym, why do I have to wear a uniform? That's what Fletzy wants you to do. Just go with it. In past videos, I talked about TSA having a curfew at Fletzy. And I think I talked about that curfew being at, I think, 8 p.m. That curfew is finally gone. You are being treated like adults gonna be great don't be the person that ruins it if you are taking your car to Fletzy there's two things that you have to keep in mind number one your car has to stay parked at the dorm during class hours number two everyone is gonna want to be your best friend because you have a car they can go off campus go explore things like that quite a Few of you have been to college, and quite a few of you haven't. If you're wondering what is it going to be like at Fletzy, guess what? It's going to be just like college. Wake up in the dorms, go to class, study, and then go back to the dorms. However, just like college, you will also have to study. You will study from the standard operating procedures, TSA textbooks, and you will also take your own notes. For those of you, if you're thinking, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna study during study hours. I'm gonna do all that back in the dorm. Guess what, Rakondo? You can't take any of those study materials back to the dorm because all of that is classified. You are gonna have two exams. Exam one is a written test. It's based on 50 questions, true or false, multiple choice. You have to get a minimum 
70% to pass. Meaning, you can only miss 15 questions. That's a lot of questions. Test two is your x-ray. Your x-ray test is based on 75 questions. The scoring of that test is based on a ratio. I can't go into all of that because that's the part that they don't want getting out. Class is from 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. However, there's things that happen in between. Here's the complete daily breakdown. Starting at 7 a.m., you wake up and you go to breakfast. And then you walk a half a mile from breakfast to class. Lunchtime. Everyone's favorite part of the day. You go in a group and you go in formation. You line up in height order and then you march to lunch. Yeah, I don't get why either, but hey, if you're being paid, just go with it. At 4.30 p.m., you're dismissed and you go back to the dorms. Except you just go. You don't have to go in formation or any of that stuff. From 5 p.m. until 7.30 30 p.m., it's dinner time. And that, you're off the clock, you go on your own. You're probably asking, what is the food like at Fletzy, and how do I find out what they're going to have? There's an app that tells you what the daily lunch and dinner menu is going to be. And they give it to you in one week chunks. Lunchtime, it's buffet style. All you do is you walk up and you pick what you want, and then you go back, sit down and eat. You can go back up as many times as you want. It's okay, I did it too. Dessert is really, really good. It's Georgia, they have pecan pie, apple pie and pumpkin pie. There's a microwave, buy the pies. Heat up the pie and then put ice cream on it. I did that quite a few times and I got fat. It was great. Who pays for all the food at Fletzy? It's all taken care of. Uncle Sam's paying the bills. You will have a Fletzy ID. You scan that ID when you go to pay and that takes care of it. If you're trying to figure out what the food at Fletzy is gonna be like, it's government food. Honestly, I thought it was pretty good. But if you get something and you don't like it, it's okay. Just go back and get something else. It's paid for, just go get it. Once again, it's Georgia. It gets hot in the summer. Bring bottled water. Carry a bottle with you, and when you go to get lunch in the DFAC, fill up your water bottle. They have a designated water bottle station. It tastes a lot better than the water fountains found at Fletzy. For all of you future fossils out there, you're probably wondering to yourself, what happens if I don't go to class on time? The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Because you will find out. During your free time in the dorms, you don't have anything else to do. You're thinking, oh, I wanna go on the internet and go do whatever. It's great, they have Wi-Fi in the dorms, and it's pretty good. However, Uncle Sam pays the bills. Be careful what websites you go to, because Uncle Sam is watching. When you travel on government orders, you get a government travel card. All of your official travel goes on that government travel card. Just like everything else, it's a credit card. It has actual dollars attached to it. If you spend it, it has to be paid back in full. What you should do is take that credit card, lock it up someplace in your dorm, and then don't touch it. Unless you have to pay for something that the government is going to reimburse you for. People have gotten into trouble with the government card because they were caught doing things that they shouldn't have been doing. Like I said, Uncle Sam pays the bills. He sees every charge on that card. Don't touch it unless you have to. I'm gonna tell you about the experience I had at Fletzy. When I went to Fletzy, I had the option. Basel, do you wanna drive or do you wanna fly? I enjoy independence, I drove down to Fletzy. If you drive to Fletzy, 
You will check in your car at the front gate office. You will get a Fletzy parking decal and a Fletzy ID. And then you go to your dorm, park your car, and you're there. When I went to Fletzy, I was sent by U.S. Immigration. They didn't have enough rooms on campus, so they put us in a hotel on St. Simon's Island. Things to do at Fletzy. On Fridays, they have happy hour from 4.30 p.m. until 6 p.m. $2 beers, $5 pitchers. Drinks are cheap, drink responsibly. If you get caught doing something dumb at Fletzy, it's not gonna end well. Those of you who enjoy eating, there's plenty of food options. There's a place called Southern Stoll Barbecue. It's on St. Simon's Island and it's been on Food Network and all these other eating channels. The food is really, really good. And no, I'm not being paid to talk about this. I went there plenty of times and I brag about it to everybody. It's really good barbecue. Those of you who enjoy fried chicken, if you don't come from the South, there's a grocery chain called Publix. They have really good fried chicken, fried chicken wings, and chicken tender stubs. If you drive, go to Publix, go to the deli, get fried chicken, and the sweet tea. You won't be sorry. Those of you that are up at 12, 1, 2 a.m., Waffle House is a place I like going to. It's always open. Once again, I'm not being paid to talk about them. I just really enjoy Waffle House. I think it's good food. There's also bars and happy hours off of Fletzy. There's a place called Nat's Landing. They have indoor, outdoor seating. The food is okay, but I didn't go for the food. I went for the drinks. For those of you who don't come from the South and you want to explore, there's buses from Fletzy that will take you to Tybee Island, Savannah, Georgia, St. Augustine, Florida, and Jacksonville, Florida. It'll leave early in the morning and bring you back late in the evening. When you go to Fletzy, enjoy your time there. It's going to be the calm before the storm. Enjoy it, talk to people, make friends, eat, drink, go explore, have fun. That's all I've got. Other videos coming up. Until then, peace out.